point, I would like to take a little poll. Is there a little poll in the audience? <laughs> That's not what I meant. What I meant to say was I would like to find out how many of the people in our audience this evening have ever been tangled up in coat hangers at home in their uh, closets. Show of hands. Come on now, I'll bet if I came door to door here, we would find that there wasn't a person in this room tonight who has not personally been accosted by a tangled mass of coat hanger wire. Am I right? Aha. Yes. Uh -huh. And yet, you allow them to freely multiply right in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> well, I too have had this very same problem. But I, like you, have decided to do something about it. As we speak, back in California, I am raising a new tangle-proof coat hanger in my closet. I have with me tonight three of my best breeders. I'm kind of proud of these little hookers. Got to keep them all tied up back there, otherwise we'll have dozens of them running around over here. Let me show them to you very quickly. That's a one, a two, and three. Now, four. The little devils never a moment's peace. Actually, I've had these things ever since they were nothing but little paper clips. And they're fully grown coat hangers. Each one is perfectly formed, and each one looks exactly the same. Especially this one. You've reached into your closet at home for a coat hanger. Come out with not one, but two coat hangers and possibly tangled together. When you're a magician, it's even worse. No matter how hard you tug, no matter how hard you pull, they just don't come apart. That is until you least expect it, and then they just sort of melt apart like that. Now, I know that happens to everyone, so tonight I'm going to explain exactly what causes it. It's really very simple. Every coat hanger has a soft spot in it. I think that's it right there. Now, if two coat hangers should strike together at that spot, the result are two coat hangers impossibly tangled together. No matter how hard you tug, they just don't come apart. Now, let's suppose you go back to your room tonight, you're going to hang up your coat, your sweater, you reach in the closet, you end up with something that looks like this. There's nothing to worry about. Remember the soft spot. All you have to do is give them a little shake. They fall right apart. <coughs> A little more of a shake, they disconnect. A little shake, and they unlink. First time that happened again. Wait a minute, they're starting to jam up on me. <laughs> Underwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> Equally as insignificant is the fact that I can link three coat hangers on one. And even more difficult than that, one coat hanger on three. There it is. Huh? I see I'm going much too quickly for you now. So at this point, I'm going to take the coat hangers apart. The way you take them apart is the same way you put them together. You pull them through the little soft spot up here in the front, all right? Just give them a little shake like this. That's the first coat hanger. Comes through the soft spot, leaves me with one coat hanger off, two coat hangers on. The second one comes off the bottom. You give a little tug, it pops off like that. Leave it inside. And I've been to this point once before, remember? This is when we had uh, two coat hangers impossibly tangled together. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll just put it on. <laughs> It's just me. Where was it? Oh, yes. Two coat hangers impossibly tangled together. To take them apart, you merely swing them back and forth. And like rings of smoke, they melt apart. And that's the secret to those darn coat hangers. <laughs> Have them backwards. Just a moment. Ah, there we go. And you're going to swing them back and forth like rings of smoke. They melt apart. And that's the secret. Oh, damn coat hangers. At this point, it's important that the coat hangers know who's boss. Now, some magicians resort to finesse at this point. I prefer the hacksaw myself. Well, you see, every time I get this saw out, I think 
these coat hangers. Must have. The old hacksaw on the coat hanger tray. And I fell for it. Please, try and stay with the group. It's a simple matter by merely lifting up on the, the, the hacksaw, then reach uh, up on the coat hanger, then reaching down through and pulling up on the hacksaw, you get the saw. Over on this side now. <laughs> Is it really that noticeable? I guess so. Just a second ago, I couldn't get this darn coat hanger off. Now the coat hanger's stuck. The saw is stuck. I can't get either one of them off of there. <laughs> Wait a second. Suppose I could try and saw my way out, but I'm afraid we'd be stuck here all night, so I think I better just put these things away. Before I do, though, you have been a delightful group, I must say, and I'd like to leave you all with these very simple words, which I think you should remember always. If you'd like to wake up with a smile on your face, go to bed with a coat hanger in your mouth. Thank you very much.